Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie today I'm here to do a video about predicting my upcoming five star reads. This is a video I've seen going around at booktube a ton lately. It seems like a lot of fun so I figured I would do it and I think it's one of the most perfect videos to do because this year I have definitely cut back on the amount of books I've given five stars dramatically from last year. Last year when I started my channel I was giving at least three or four books a month five stars and out of the 50 books I read last year I gave between 25 and 30 books five stars. So definitely a lot and at the beginning of this year I decided I wanted to be a lot stricter with my ratings and that has definitely been the case. Out of the 70 books I read so far this year as of recording this video I've given I think only 10 maybe 11 books this, books at five star rating so it has definitely changed dramatically. With all that being said though, I have a total of five or six books to talk about, excuse me. So let's just jump right in and get started. So the first book I want to talk about is one of my most anticipated releases of this year, and that is War Cross by Marie Lu. Marie Lu is the author of the Legend Trilogy, which I read last year, absolutely loved. I have a full series review on that trilogy, so I'll have it linked down below if you guys would like to hear more of my thoughts. But this is her most recent release. And this is a science fiction book that takes place in a new near futuristic world. And in this world, there has been this game called Warcross that everybody has gone crazy over. It's a virtual reality game. So it, I'm guessing it doesn't take place too far in the future because virtual reality has been a thing for a couple of years now. And this follows our main character, Amika, who is a bounty hunter. And she has been sent in by the creator of the game Warcross to hunt down people who are illegally gambling on the game and somehow she like glitches herself into the international championship of Warcross and all takes off from there. It sounds fantastic. I've heard nothing but great things since it was released so I'm excited to jump right in when I get to the point where I can read this. The next book on my list is one that I will not be surprised by if I give this book a 5 out of 5 stars because I read so many books by this author that I have loved that is almost inevitable that I will give this a five, star, 5 out of 5 stars and that is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard book 1 The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan. Rick Riordan is the author of the Percy Jackson series, the Heroes of Olympus series, as well as the King Chronicles, all of which I have read absolutely loved and this is his new or one of his newer series that follows Norse mythology and it also happens to take place in Boston which is my home city so even better um but again I have heard nothing but fantastic things about this book since it came out a few years ago the third book in this trilogy just came out like two or three days ago so and I just I can't wait to start this I'm just so damn excited the next couple of books are actually more of like spooky reads. The first one of those being The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. This is a dystopian book that takes place in a world where the death rate is higher than the birth weight rate. Lindsay Cummings is is going to be releasing one of my most anticipated releases of next year with Sasha over at Book Utopia. That book is called Zenith that comes out in January. So I definitely want to read a book by Lindsay Cummings before diving into the, uh, Zenith. So definitely excited to check this out. And the other book that's kind of great creepy read for me is this one called The Devil's Labyrinth. And this is by John Saul. I was given this book in one of my swap boxes um, on Facebook that I'm a part of. And uh, I don't know much about it to be honest. But all I know is that this symbol on the back, I hope you guys can see that okay, somehow has appeared in three different locations. It was in Rome in the 4th century, Spain in the 16th century, and then today it's being about to be discovered in Boston. So another speakery that takes place in my home city. So what could be more interesting than that? Uh, I'm definitely interested. I kind of tend to like these spooky reads like this, so definitely very interested and I'm assuming that the symbol from what I read from the synopsis has to do with the devil's labyrinth so that might be it right there so we'll see what happens. And another book by an, another author that I have mentioned in this video is The Travels of Paul book one The Hidden Oracle also by Rick Riordan. This is a book I had on my top 10 books I wanted to read in 2017 video I'll have it linked down below and this is his this is Rick Riordan's most recent uh, series release. The second book in the series came out in May I believe and once again I've heard no 
bad reviews about this series. It follows a yacht Apollo who had, did something at the end of the Heroes of the series that made his father Zeus transform him into a teenage boy and he was sent down to Earth and he is working with the demigods at Camp Half-Blood to try and solve their oracle problem. Like I said, I've loved every single one of Rick Riordan's books I have read, so I cannot wait to see what happens in this one. And the last book I have to talk about today was a recent release I recently picked up, and that is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Maas. This is the sixth book in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. I have a review of the first five books I will also have linked down below if you guys would like to check that out. I have loved the Throne of Glass series since I started reading it last year. I'm actually currently rereading it. I just finished the first book a couple days ago, so I'm now on Crown of Midnight, which is the second book. And this is the sixth book, like I said. This is a book that is a parallel book to Empire of Storms, which is book five in the series. And it follows Kale, who is missing in book five because he's on a mission in a different part of the world that the uh, main Throne of Glass timeline takes place. So, definitely more interested. I've actually heard fantastic things about it since it released. I was a little worried about the representation because I know Kale has a disability that is uh, featured very much in this book. So, again, haven't heard a bad thing so far. So, really excited to dive in. And that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have any videos mentioned. In this video, link down below if you guys would like to check those out. I also have all my social media linked down below if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, or my blog. They are all linked down below. And I with all of that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.